This week we are taking a break from working on the studio and working on Marshmallow, my 1992 Volkswagen Mark II GTI. I saved her from a field in West Virginia that she had been sitting in for about eight years. It took me a couple years to get her running, which happened about a year ago, and ever since I've been slowly restoring her. We are going to be working on two projects. The first one is drying her interior out. Over the winter, I left her outside uncovered and unbeknownst to me, the bottom edge of her windshield was bad and whenever it rained or snowed, water would find its way into the interior and get the floor pans wet. The first thing that I've done is brought her inside and opened up her sunroof and her windows to let her start drying out. The next step, which we're gonna tackle now, is cleaning off the passenger seat. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera, but there are what looks like little spores of mold growing on the seat. I've got my portable carpet cleaner here. I'm going to put my face mask on to protect my lungs and we're gonna knock this out. Well, that was absolutely disgusting. I didn't know solution that color could come out of seats, but it is a really old car and there's a lot of people that sat in this. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy I got that done. I didn't do the back seats cause they don't look like they had any mold or dirt. I mean, they probably are dirty, but I'll get to them later. Just having the two front seats clean is much better. But now it is supposed to be 71 degrees and sunny all day. So I'm going to back Marshmallow up outside and open her up and let her bake in the sun and hopefully get all the moisture that's remaining out of the car. While Marshmallow sits outside during the day to help dry out, we are going to get started on the second project, which is working on the new dashboard that I got. It isn't an original GTI because it doesn't have the red stripe and it doesn't have the cutout for the tilt steering wheel, but both of those I can fix. What it does have is no cracks along the top surface and it still has all of the structure for the instrument clusters still attached, which my current one doesn't have. So we're gonna start by giving this a good thorough cleaning, and then we're gonna do a slight modification to the instrument panel to accept the new sled for the infotainment system that I wanna put in. <music>
Well, that was a little bit more challenging than I was expecting. I had to get some pretty harsh detergents out to really get it clean. But the real MVP is one of these little red brushes that was really able to get into the texture of the vinyl and get that little bit of dirt out. But it looks great. It finished really clean. And now that that's done, we can move on to the fun part, which is putting the radio tray and fitting the face cover into what I have here. I've already marked a couple places to start cutting, so we'll start there and slowly work our way until we get these to fit. Well, with all of the plastic cut away, the opening is ready to accept the tray. It fits in really well. It's a little wobbly, but that can be fixed and supported on all three sides. When all three sides are supported, there's a gap up here. It's about three sixteenth of an inch, four millimeters, that I can easily put a strip of something there to support it. And when I'm ready to bend all these wings in, I think it'll lock in really nice. I went ahead and got the receiver as well. We can slide that in. And we can put the bezel on. So everything looks good on the instrument cluster side. It looks close on this side. I don't know if my bezel's bent or this is off, but I can fix that. We have a clearance issue here and one here. So let me lop that off and see how it fits. All right, with those knocked down, it is even closer. This lip right here, I need to adjust for, I think a couple, I wonder if I can knock those out. So this line right here, I need to cut all of this off. I do believe that is acceptable for now. The instrument cluster fits really nice. 
the location for all these buttons is really well. I like the fact that the bezel can come off and leave the cluster and the stereo in place. And that kind of adds a layer of security because you can't just pry this out. It's just a deterrent. If somebody really wants to get in, they can. But with a new bezel that covers all of this up and makes it look clean, I think this will look really sharp. Well, that is going to be it for this week. We are going to continue to put Marshmallow outside in the sun to get her to fully dry out. And once I'm confident that she is fully dry, she will be going back outside under a car cover until I have a chance to do the body work to get her sealed up. The dashboard is looking fantastic. I'm really happy with the progress that was made on that. There is a lot of work that needs to be done to that dash for that bezel to look nice and finished. And I need to wait until I have full access to my studio to use all the other tools that I have. So next week we'll be working on something else. So I'll see you then.